rent relief is coming to Houstonians. Another unarmed black man is gunned down, this time while jogging, and we tell you everything you need to know about your rights as you return to work after the quarantine. Hi, I'm Rashonda Tate Billingsley with your weekly Defender News Wrap, where we bring you the biggest news stories from the black community. City Council has passed the mayor's plan to allocate $15 million for emergency rental assistance. The proposal would pull from $404 million in federal funding for COVID-19 relief. A local nonprofit would run the program by distributing funding to landlords. Still, several advocates say the plan doesn't do enough, with one group saying the money will only assist about 13,400 renters. We already knew how bad COVID-19 was for African Americans, but a new study shows just how bad. Researchers found counties with large black populations accounted for 52% of cases and 58% of coronavirus deaths. Another finding, 91% of the 677 counties with black populations of 13% or more were located in the South. The Defender team is staying on top of your coronavirus coverage. This week, we're examining employer and employee rights as the city begins reopening. We answer all your questions you may want to know. Check it out. Have you seen that disturbing video of an unarmed black man in Georgia being gunned down by a father-son duo? These renegade racists, former police officer Gregory McMichael and his son Travis, claim they thought Ahmaud Arbery was a burglar when they chased him down like a dog and shot him. The 25-year-old was jogging in his neighborhood February 23rd. No one has been arrested or charged in the case, despite the cell phone video. The good news? Georgia officials just announced they will present the case to a grand jury. Now let's pray for justice for Ahmad. In a new agenda for African-American communities, Joe Biden is calling for the Justice Department to prioritize prosecuting hate crimes, a $900 million initiative to fight gun violence and better access to federal relief funds for African-Americans struggling due to the coronavirus. Now this is a plan we can get with. Visit our website for all the details on what the plan entails. A treat for the class of 2020, former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama will deliver virtual commencement speeches for students, most of whom won't have in-person graduation ceremonies because of the coronavirus pandemic. Dear Class of 2020 will run on YouTube on June 6th and will feature special guests. And finally, big thanks to Beyonce and Megan Thee Stallion. Not only are they donating proceeds from their jamming Savage remix to COVID relief, but the city named a day in their honor. Way to represent, ladies. It's a wrap. Make sure you're following us at Defender Network on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And join us here next week for all your Defender highlights.